Yeah. Cool. Mov- moving on to the second movie in this discussion. A movie that I really enjoyed. The yeah. best movie uh, I think ever all of us really yeah. enjoyed. Yeah. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which is also a movie that focuses on ideas like the multiverse and mm-hmm. science fiction and things like that. Much but smaller much movies, more interesting. smaller budget, I more think intimate. Have, Let's talk. I have a really... Um, I, I don't know how to board this. I, I had a really good connection to the way they explain the multiverse. Yeah. Yeah. They take a 20-minute chunk in the movie mm-hmm. and explain it and then immediately demonstrate how it works. Yeah, but it's never yeah. boring either. No, it's well, not. Well, because they do it through a character. They explain yeah. it to her, like all the, the multiverse jumpers explain it to her, and then she explains it to her family, and then they never explain it again. Yeah. They're yeah. just like, this is what happens. And it works because the f- while all that's happening, you're in one location. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. not really jumping around. It's the truck and the office building, yeah. the IRS mm-hmm. building. And that's it. Mm-hmm. They give it time to breathe. And then they're like, we're not going to hammer this home. Yeah. You don't have to get it. The science part of it is thought out yeah. and well explained, but it's not integral to the movie at all. Yeah. You really it's, don't even need to grasp it. They don't it, waste but time. They don't like, waste time. They, they show any you how time. it works. They have their little machine where yeah. it's like dots. Efficient, like, such a, thoughtful such a, such storytelling such movie. Efficient yeah. is the best way. And mm-hmm. the opposite problem with dialogue, and I don't yeah, know if you very, the very script. thoughtful dialogue. Bing. They it's, use it to serve the plot, they use every it to serve one. the character. Every like, single everything one. is nece- incredibly necessary. You, I don't think you could. I don't think you should remove any line of dialogue no, in that it's movie all crucial. because it yes, it's all crucial. All of it matters. What also, like the delivery of every like the acting in that. Oh, oh incredible! Spectacular. I, I think the best I compliment I can give mm. it is the scene where mm. there are rocks on the ledge. <laughs> Not a word is spoken. It's but, like, all why are you gonna dialogue. Cry? But I'm gonna cry. And every line hits. And all I'm I was, doing is reading it. And I was every line hits. Up. And mm. even the way they like space out them coming onto the screen, yeah. giving dramatic pauses. Mm-hmm. It works so well. Like and you could tell whoever crafted this script yeah. really cared and about like, pacing. Was it the Daniels? Daniels? Was it Daniels? A scene like that should not work. No. Yeah. It, like, it just really shouldn't work. It should be boring, but it's funny and it's deep and it's emotional and the whole movie just works super yeah. well. I mean, if you were to pitch this idea, hey, mm-hmm. let's do a multiverse jumping movie that's an allegory for family. Especially in Talking 2022. Talking about mother and daughter movies. Yes. How would you do that? Like, yeah. I was thinking that the whole time I'm watching this is like, if you pitch this idea, I would immediately say no because it's too difficult. And yet it was self-contained. It was really in like three yeah. or four locations minus the jumping. And it just worked. Well, no, yeah. even with the jumping, it was mostly lim- limited to the IRS building, the the laundry, laundry house, house, the yeah. truck, yeah. that whatever he's driving. The bagel. <laughs> and the like bagel, maybe yeah. two other places. Yeah, yeah. a lot of place. smaller scenes. Like the that, movie yeah. theater and like the well, bagel. And they also, hunt. the I think the reason the minimal locations work so well is because they stay in like one section of the IRS for a while and then they move through the same building. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so they haven't actually changed location, yeah. but at the same time they've yeah. changed. Scenery. I'm, yes. yeah. I'm very excited to gush about this movie. I don't have... I think a single negative thing to say about no, it. No. I I had a moment watching this movie, like probably about the halfway point, where like I just sat back and I was like, I'm watching like a modern day Back to the Future. Like this, like I I just had this like wave of realization where I was like, I'm watching like one of the greatest movies like in th- that I think will live on for a long I don't time. Want to speak in hyperbole? Mm-hmm. It is a perfect movie yeah. in that every plot point is wrapped up. Mm-hmm. But it's not forced. Yeah. The overall message of the film blends perfectly with the delivery of the message through the mm. multiverse and the allegory for family throughout and how everything is tied into that, but they yeah. don't slam it over your head. It's perfect yeah. as a film. That doesn't make it, you know, my favorite film ever. I don't know. I just saw it. Like, it's yeah. really tough for me to gauge that. And I, I hate I, the pick your favorite film. I know. But I, I might put I might put it up there, honestly. It's um, it's that good. Yeah, and one of the things that like I really like just really love about this movie is that we're we're kind of seeing a general culture shift a lot. Like we kind of talked about like the Nolan era, dark, gritty, like even like things similar to this, like Rick and Morty that have like same like sci fi aesthetics and concepts and like even themes to a degree, like nihilism and, and everything. Like this movie's so hopeful. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's so it's still nihilism. It, yeah, yeah, it's it's it, optimistic it, nihilism. Well, I think well, it shows our, both sides of yeah. nihilism. I think yes. I think I was, I was talking to someone like our generation is very, all of our jokes and like mannerisms are very absurd and they're all filled of nihilism. Yeah, and I feel like this is the best movie to capture like the outlook of like I'd yeah. say like mid twenties to younger yeah, people. Yeah, but I would also say like er, like people are kind of tired of seeing like 
the anti-hero, like the the dark and gritty, the sad and depressing. Like yeah. people want people are looking for like heroes oh. that are like good. Yeah. Like people were making like this weird comeback where for like people are just looking for characters and movies and stories that are like sincerely good. I I don't mean to draw a comparison to something else, mm-hmm. but let me diverge real quick. It's why I love the show Invincible and hate the show The Boys. The Boys is very nihilist. It's very everything's fucked, and there's no mm-hmm. redeeming quality about the show at all for me. Whereas Invincible still tackles that like gory, like really dark. Mm-hmm. But Steven Yoon's character is just like optimist. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm going to fight my dad, but I'm going to win. I'm going to make everything a better place. And it's why something like that works, and I don't think The Boys mm-hmm. works at all. Mm-hmm. And in this movie, and you brought up Rick and Morty, and I think it's a great comparison, why Rick and Morty got stale is because it's always we're the worst people, the worst things yeah. happen. This movie, June's character is very mm-hmm. much like everything's the worst, everything's the worst. But it's all brought back around at the end where it's like, no, we have a chance. Like, yeah, everything's not perfect, and yeah, it's a rat race. But Wait, like, which character? You mean Joy? Joy. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I said, said June. June. But, like, yeah, going back to that hopeful Movie earnestness. Like, uh, tell me uh-huh. you didn't cry during that sequence where, uh, what's the character's name in the movie? The dad? Uh, it's, well, it's Kei Kwan. Well, uh, like, the dad's character, when he yeah, was, he's, like, uh, in a... Wayman. Wayman. Yeah. And it, when he was, like, you know, in another life, I would have been just happy. Wait, wait, wait. Can doing we talk taxes about... with you? Yeah, like, can we talk about the... Well, in another life, I'd be perfectly, like, happy just doing taxes with you and how that, like, hits is, is really emotionally. But I think, like, on the opposite side, Doctor Strange being like, I love you in every universe. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I'll, I'm I'll like, agree okay, that. and? And yeah. so? No, and the genius- it's It's pretty much the same line. Mm-hmm. Yes. But yeah. also, They're it's saying not the same the, thing. Saying the same thing, but I think you can, like, thoughtful dialogue yes versus just we wrote this down and yeah. we're having a character every, say it. The every conversation single, yeah. they have where he's like i also solve every problem i just do it different than you because i try and do it through kindness and it shows Dude, their I yin and their yang on balance. the verge of tears and it is so perfect because the whole movie she thinks he's an idiot uh, mm-hmm. it's like she keeps saying that like without me he'd be lost he'd never be able to do anything mm-hmm. but in reality mm-hmm. Without him, she'd not be able to do anything because he is solving all the problems. And that scene at the end where he's talking to the IRS woman and he fixes it by but just being kind. she thinks he's messing it up the whole yes, time. Yes, but he's not. And he fixes it. And that's when she has a realization. It's a very basic plot device that's been it's, written hundreds of times in but movies. it's the way they've it's done. done. Yeah. It's the trickle and the important dialogue we got to it's, it and the way each character gets a development. It's not grouped together. Even the grandfather. Every yeah. character gets independent character development. Every char- I love it. Every character feels so real. Yeah. Like every mm-hmm. nobody feels ancillary in the story. No, every everybody, single character, even the everybody. IRS lady, yeah. and even yeah. the like, girlfriend, Deirdre. even yeah. Joy's girlfriend. Yeah. Like uh, everyone gets Becky. a character yeah, come around moment. Yeah, and it's just it's even Rakakuni. Even Rakakuni. Even Rakakuni. Great reference. I Thank love Rakakuni. Um, that also, is such. Also, it's so funny. Yeah, I was it's gonna. So funny. I was gonna say. Oh thank God. God we finally have some hope that somebody can make a comedy movie that isn't just like Deadpool, I'm going to slap pop culture in your face. Was this the guy humor. the Winter Soldier? Yeah, like <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. And does not rely, it, like I don't think there's really, like obviously like it's in its shooting style, like Rakakuni and everything. Like there's, there's references and homages, but like it never relies on them to be funny no. or interesting. Like, Sure, they're in there, but like two thousand one reference. Yeah, yeah, I, like that I love. The monkeys with the large fingers. Yeah, yeah. there's references, but they don't that like rely so on good. it. Yeah. Something they, like I, Deadpool I was in, like in yeah. the movie theater. I was like, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Yeah. and a lot of the jokes are very like they're very stylistic jokes. They're very yes. they're jokes that concern the form and the way the yes. movies are made and the way that you're experiencing them. It's not just. It's not, hey, look, it's the Winter Soldier. So it's, you, it's so inherently funny. You made a really good point earlier. I think it applies to this when you kind of compare it to Rick and Morty. And I think Mm -hmm. Rick and Morty does this, which is what makes their pop culture references work, where the reference itself is is a joke. They're ma- they're satirizing the fact that they're even making the yeah. reference, and they do that in this movie, like yeah. the Rakakuni thing. It's not about and, that. It's about her getting a character moment, but they satirize the fact that they even made the but reference. But that's also why they're so different. Yes. Because Rick and Morty is like, haha, it's funny that we're thinking about doing this thing in a show, thinking about doing this thing in a show. Seven layers of irony. Like, everything everywhere all at once, like, for as, like, all over the place and zany as it is, like, 
it lays its cards just like straight on the no, table. No, it does. And it, it just is like, does this stuff. Is, this is what this movie is about. Yeah, yeah. And we are going to be very. It's hard. It's on its sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And I, I love like that, that final sequence, like where she's going up the stairs and she's showing people trying to fight her and she's showing them all like. But like happiness yeah. yeah yeah like shit like <laughs> she's just showing them kindness she yeah. brings the two guys together and they make out that's yeah. like my <laughs> no, favorite but, uh, i don't know it's it's so much it's, uh, it's her, about talk, every her talk with joy like in the parking lot too yeah, yeah. Like, that and, like, also got the me. movie like is about everything haha <laughs> everything everything all 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 but, like, <laughs> it's about like so many things at at one time mm-hmm. but each aspect of the film, like the family aspect, their relationships between each other, like the mother-daughter relationship, like husband and wife relationship. It's, it's mother. never too much. Because well, it's all that, steamlined through that, the family. But all of those aspects are treated as equals. They're, they're not like They're not like, we're going to talk about like all the familial relationships, but we're really talking about like nihilism and your place in the universe. Mm -hmm. And that's the real message. They're all the real message of the movie. Like they're all equally important to each other. Like every aspect, I don't know, every theme in the movie matters. Instead of developing one main character, and there is one main character, they develop every character equally. Yeah, exactly. And that equity across the film Mm -hmm. adds another layer. And I think that is exactly what you're saying. It's just like, Everyone gets equal time, yeah. and all of these points and all of these character traits, which are the traits of the movie they're trying to talk about, all get fleshed out and explained. Yeah, but yeah, it does it does such a good job of doing everything like so equally, just character development, story development, thematic development, cinematography, it, cinematography. It makes it it just seems so easy in the way that it does it. Like it never it never feels like it's trying too hard to be any one thing. It just feels like it unravels so naturally and yes. so effortlessly. It's because they, again, and Ali said it earlier, they built a good script that doesn't just have lines for the sake of having lines. Mm. Everything is built because it has a purpose. There's no throwaways. Even the jokes, as you said, aren't just throwaway gags. They're all important. It's not like the family guy cutaway comedy bullshit yeah. when it could have been. Yeah. That would have been yeah. an easy way to put jokes in. What about but, the universe where I had pizza for hands? <laughs> yes, but it's what about the universe where I had hot dogs for hands, but she has a relationship with the IRS woman, yeah. which shows... There's, there's no dialogue in that universe. No. Yeah. She's just like, it shows her still being cold to yeah. someone else who loves her, what she's doing in the universe and then with they, Waymond, and it shows her flaws. Yeah. But it's a fucking gag. And, and then it's even, like, yes, that's why this works. And then even bra- they even bring it back at the end where it's like, even the universe where we have hot dogs for hands, we're, we do more stuff with our feet. Yes. <laughs> like, they're playing the piano, but it yeah. doesn't sink at all. She's yeah. just like smashing yeah. the piano and but they're playing funny. like Beethoven. Yeah. 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 Mm. 